picked his guitar on hundreds of albums and jammed with such greats as Jerry Lee Lewis and Bruce Springsteen. But his fondest memories are of his days and nights on the road with Elvis Presley. Our Bill McGowan has the story of The King and I. To the rest of the world, Elvis Presley was larger than life, an untouchable American icon. But James Burton knew a different Elvis. One for the month, two for the show. We just had a real great relationship musically, and, and we just kicked back and relaxed and just, you know, enjoy each, each other's company. Burton played lead guitar with Elvis until his death in 1977. And after sharing a stage with him for nine years, James Burton grew to know the man behind the crown. And life on the road sometimes proved Elvis could also double as the court jester. Elvis enjoyed playing pranks, and sometimes he was a he was a good uh, winner, but sometimes a, a sore loser. But anyway, this one one particular night, he got a water gun, had a water gun on stage, stuck in his belt. Nobody knew about it. So he went over to when he started introducing the band, he pulled his water gun out and started shooting everybody, and just everybody just went nuts. And although he may have been the king, no one was above retaliation by the boys in the band. So we all got together and had a little meeting, and Joe said, you know, he moves around the stage a lot. Why don't we just get some marbles, 10,000 marbles, and just put them all over the stage? So the second show, Elvis came out. All these marbles, the curtain went up, and all these marbles, he went out, and we were playing the opening music, and it was amazing. All these marbles, and Elvis is trying to get through the stage without falling on, you know, with these marbles. I mean, it was pretty dangerous, really. James was more than Elvis's main man. He made his network debut as a teenager with heartthrob Ricky Nelson. He went on to fan the flames behind superstars like Jerry Lee Lewis. And he grew up to duel six strings with the boss. But it was somewhere in between, when he stood guard beside the king, that James hey, Burton became God, immortalized in the minds of fans. I don't spoke. Silent. We used to call him Squirrely on stage because he, you know, he, he was all, he never stayed in one place very long. So uh, this watch, uh, he gave gave me this watch, and on the back of the watch it says to James from Squirrely EP. He was such an idol for so many people and uh, for me it was just like uh, I mean he was just like one of the guys even if you've never noticed James the songs wouldn't be the same without him or his now infamous pink paisley guitar I hesitated for about three or four days uh, before I played it with Elvis it was so bright but when I took it on stage and played, I thought I would just go ahead and surprise him one night and I did he loved it I had to play it ever since it has become as much of an Elvis trademark as his taking care of business logo. Uh, when I walked backstage one night between shows, uh, he had one for me and he said, here, James, this is for you, and he put it around my neck. And uh, boy, it was, a, it was a great feeling, you know, because it was something that, that he was very proud to do with certain members and uh, because they were family to him. And it made me feel good to know that I was accepted. The gold records and piles of music awards which line his mantle are a hint at just how accepted James Burton has become. He's lost track of exactly how many albums he's played on, but estimates the count at somewhere around 400. And no matter who he's playing behind, they usually take a back seat when James begins to jam. When he's not on the road with John Denver, you can usually find James floating around Louisiana, where this hometown boy even has a day named in his honor. And most Shreveport residents will give you a good argument as to who the real king is. But when it comes to loyalty and legends, James's heart doesn't mind playing second string. 
as long as Elvis is center stage. I had a real special thing about Elvis in my heart. And uh, I, I miss, even today, I miss his music. It's all music I love. It's music I love playing, and it, it, it'll be here till, uh, till after I'm gone. It'll live forever. It's great. When we come back...